呃，大家好，我是清华大学电机系黄远健。呃，今天我们要介绍 transmitting and receiving antennas， 也就是两个天线。Previously, we always focus on one antenna, and now、uh, we want to have two antennas: one transmitting signal and the other receiving signal. So first, I'm going to introduce the coupling between two antennas. So that we can understand how antennas can talk to each other, and then we're going to define effective receiver area, which is an area to tell you how effective a receiving antenna can receive a signal. And then we'll be also talking about radar, and radar is an important、uh, equipment to detect some object in space. And finally, I want to conclude、uh, this lecture by introducing a few strange-looking antennas. And I just want to introduce the、uh, concept and let you feel、uh, a little bit how, in general, you should design an antenna. And as usual, we have a, a review. So in session、uh, 18.1,、uh, I want to introduce how two antennas could couple to each other. So in this cartoon, you see antenna A on the left and antenna B on the right. Apparently, they are talking to each other. If you have a voltage on this antenna A,、uh, you will trans be transmitting some signal from A into space, and then this signal can reach antenna B. As soon as the antenna B receives the signal, there will be some voltage induced on this low of this antenna, and Uh, when the current oscillates on this antenna B, it will also radiate some signal back to antenna A. So in general, you can construct a coupled circuit like this. So on antenna A, you have voltage, you have current, and on antenna B,、uh, there's a low associated with this antenna, and there's a voltage induced on it to generate a current I2. And there's a coupling、uh, impedance for these two signals to transfer back and forth. So,、uh, if we write down the equations to describe this circuit, then we have two equations. The voltage on antenna A is going to be function of I1 and I2. The voltage on the second antenna, antenna B, will also be fun a function of I1 and I2. And the relationship between the current and voltage、uh, is the connected through those impedance. In particular, there's an impedance Z12 or Z21 between these two antenna, which couples the energy between these two antennas. And in general, if there's no uh, physical uh, setup that will destroy the symmetry,、uh, in general, this Z12 is going to be equal to Z21. Now. Uh, let's uh, look at this configuration a little bit carefully、uh, because the, there's a little bit、uh, difference between A and B in terms of who is sending the signal, who is the receiving the signal. In this case, antenna B is sending the signal, and antenna B is receiving the signal. So apparently, the energy received by antenna B depends on the energy coming from antenna A. And the backward scattering of the signal in general is very weak, so this means that um, the uh, result uh, you get voltage and current on antenna B is going to be highly depend on the、uh, source, and the backward coupling is very weak. So、uh, this means that uh, uh, for the transmitting antenna circuit, you can in general ignore this coupling、uh, impedance Z12. So we can simplify this the transmitting antenna circuit into a simple one. Just do a short circuit here, so that、uh, you see that the, uh, basically the uh, this uh, V2 I2 uh, is more or less the,、uh, decoupled the, from this Z12, and so you have a transmitting、uh, antenna circuit like this. So your V1 I1 only、uh, related to Z12, and Uh, so this is the, what we call transmitting antenna circuit, and、uh, in this case, this Z12 is the input impedance of this antenna A, and、uh, that is all because that the, the、uh, 
the influence of the uh, B on A is very, very small. So that's just uh, put the short circuit uh, uh, at the center of this uh, circuit diagram. But on the other hand, if we want to talk about the receiving antenna circuit, uh, the story will be quite different because the performance of this the antenna B is going to be highly dependent on uh, antenna A. So you cannot just uh, decouple this circuit uh, by uh, doing short circuit here. So now we want to construct a simplified circuit to describe the performance of this receiving circuit. And the theory we're going to use is the so-called Tevening theorem. And this is the uh, very basic the theory in circuit uh, analysis. And if you still remember, if you apply this Tevening theorem to this kind of circuit, then you can always simplify this circuit into an open circuit voltage and also a generator uh, internal impedance. Uh, to figure out this uh, uh, generator impedance, you basically just uh, show circuit this power source and then calculate the total impedance when you look onto the uh, right of this circuit. And then uh, you see that the, uh, this impedance is uh, uh, parallelly connected to this Z12 and then uh, serially connected to this the Z22. So in the end, uh, if you work out the uh, total impedance, uh, you're going to get a value uh, very close to Z21, uh, Z22, uh, assuming that the, your Z12 is almost zero. So once you uh, work out this uh, generated imp uh, internal impedance, you can just uh, try to work out this open circuit voltage by uh, using uh, this circuit. Basically, you uh, open up this the low and then try to figure out the open circuit voltage across these two points. And you can see that uh, because the, this is the open circuit, so this the Z22 minus Z21 is ineffective. This, is the, uh, this voltage is going to be the same as the voltage uh, across these two points. So uh, if you just uh, work out the uh, uh, voltage uh, on these two points, then immediately you have uh, these results uh, on this uh, um, uh, uh, white ball. And so once you have this uh, generated internal uh, impedance and also the open circuit voltage, then you can uh, continue to work out the current and also the voltage on this antenna road. So uh, this page just uh, summarized the two circuit, the transmitter uh, circuit and receiver circuit. And for the transmitter circuit, you have a short circuit right here. So the, uh, basically the V1, I1 is not uh, affected by uh, the antenna B, but for antenna B, uh, all the parameters are connected to antenna A because the um, uh, receiver uh, antenna B is powered by uh, transmitter antenna A. So the, uh, remember that the, on the last page, we'll work out the VOC, the open circuit voltage here, which is the, uh, equal to this Z12 over Z11 multiplying with the uh, voltage of the antenna A. And uh, if you look carefully, this the V1 divided by Z11 right here. V1 divided by Z11 is just I1. So you can uh, write this the VOC as the uh, transfer impedance multiplying with the I1. And for the uh, generator internal uh, uh, impedance uh, from the last page, this is just the Z22 um, in the, uh, in the uh, couple uh, circuit uh, equations. So uh, if we continue to write, uh, the power for the antenna B, we can just adopt the usual uh, power calculation uh, formula we usually use for a circuit, uh, which is the uh, real part of the voltage multiplying with the conjugate of the current, and then divide the whole thing uh, by a factor two. This will give you the average uh, power received by antenna B. And I'm not going to go through all the detailed uh, steps, but just leave those steps on this whiteboard. You can follow uh, the uh, equation on the whiteboard to figure out the final solution. I just want to tell you that um, uh, if you work out all the steps, and then you're going to see that um, the average power on this antenna B 
is going to be proportional to the square of the transfer impedance. And this is reasonable because the, the transfer impedance basically connect the antenna A and connect, uh, antenna B together. Without this transfer impedance, basically there's no coupling between uh, antenna A and antenna B. Uh, that's why you have the power on this antenna B proportional to uh, Z21 uh, square. So, uh, in this little bit, I showed you two transfer signals, which uh, 另外辐射出一些讯号回到这个天线A这个地方来 但是呢,天线B的讯号呢,基本上这个能量全部都是来自天线A。那在这里头,我们发现呢,就是在天线B,也就是这个接收天线上头的讯号,还有能量的强度呢,跟这个transfer impedance Z21有很大的关系,或者是Z12有很大的关系。那这也难怪,因为这个transfer impedance的话,就是描述了这两个天线互相耦合的强度。那这个是第一个小节我要介绍的部分,谢谢。